Good morning, Saturday morning in Los Angeles, City of Angels. Um, my penultimate day in the state of watching Wrexham, which is a uh, bittersweet because I get to watch Wrexham, it's game day, um, but I am going home tomorrow, which is not super fun, so I'm gonna be very jealous and have lots of FOMO of those going to San Diego and Philadelphia. Um, thanks for all the comments on the videos that I've had so far. Some people pointing out that the audio is not the best. I am just learning on the fly, doing my best. Um, it is very loud uh, in, you know, it was very loud, especially in the, in the North Carolina Stadium. Um, I'm doing my best, so hope you're enjoying it and hope I'm kind of opening the window a little bit to what it's like uh, on the tour um, because I know that if possible more would have come out but it's very, very difficult, very expensive, I understand that totally. Um, but it's game day, second game of this tour and hopefully we're going to see, at least scoreline wise, a closer contest and, and hopefully a goal for these fans to celebrate out here, um, especially you know the American fans that are driving from all over the country, and yeah, I'm, I really hope they get a goal to celebrate. Um, LA Galaxy's second team, they're in their season, so they are fit, they'll be ready, they'll be sharp, um, but this is obviously a massive game for them as well, physically, um, coming up against play, you know, players like Aaron Hayden and players like Paul Mullen that will be beasts, basically. Um, so we shall see how we get on. Um, we've got a few hours to kill, it's basically midday now, just before midday. It's a 7.30 kickoff. we'll have another fan zone again, we're going to see if we can see the trophy, um, the team bus, we'll explore around. So, uh, lovely day in LA again, we're playing in black but I'm wearing the white um, kit because the black kit is at home in Wales, it hasn't arrived in time for me to wear it out here, I know some people will, I've seen a few pictures of people sending me that they're out in LA uh, this morning wearing the black kit. Um, so let's see how we get on, I'm looking forward to it, Ryan Barnett running down the wing, that's what I'm excited to see. Rex and Tailgate, then we've just been chatting lots of people here in different gear. David is behind me, but I won't show him. Um, but who do you, you recognise these people? So a lot of people, Americans always say that they get into football, get into soccer through watching two things. Welcome to Wrexham, which is amazing, but they might get into it through who do we think? Do we recognise these two? Ted Lasso and Coach Beard. Ted and Coach, what do we think? So we've got Super Paul Mullen. Talk yep. us through LA. We're in LA, it's nice and sunny. What, what do you think about Wrexham's chances then against Galaxy 2? Coach, what do you think? Well, I think they have a good chance. A good chance? Well, experience. You've seen, you've seen enough of Galaxy? You think I, Wrexham's... I have. I yeah. have seen... Uh, yeah. As an American myself, I've seen plenty of Galaxy. And uh, Super Paul Mullen, you know who's going to go against that? Right. Bunch, uh, and, bunch of and Ted, you think Super Paul? I mean, AFC yes. Richmond, you'd be you'd be interested in having Paul on the team. Absolutely, I'd put all my money on uh, on Rexon for <laughs> Yeah, this right, right. So there you go. Ted Lasso, Coach Beard. They, they're liking the chances. I mean, any score predictions? We got beat five 0 against Chelsea, so we're well, hoping for we'll a little bit better. Today. Well, it's North Carolina, Coach. <laughs> nobody can find North Carolina on the map. So I'm thinking we're three one. Rex. Three one, Rex. So there you go, Ted. What do you think? Gonna go three one as well. Two. I got four 0 You fellas need to do is believe it. 4-0, there you go, so we're both rooting for Wrexham, we're all rooting for Wrexham Rins, and we'll soon find out how we get on. Looking forward to this one, this is going to be good.
outside the stadium. People very unhappy that Paul Mullin fouled on the edge of the box. David, there is a foul on the edge of the box, ref wagging his finger, saying no. Um, we've got Mullin. <laughs> So a lot of people, are, I mean, what did you reckon, Dove, foul or not on the edge of the box there, ref was wagging his finger straight away. I mean, watching it live. Yeah, it's hard to say, we didn't get a replay, but it was a nice one to him and Palmer. Wrexham are looking alright after eight minutes, I mean, they've got more of the ball, but some of these young lads who are very young are, are very good, aren't they? Technically, yeah, technically keeping the ball extremely Yeah, keeping the ball extremely well. But we've, we've started with a back three different to what we've got normally got, O'Connell in the middle, Boyle on the left for his first start, and Hayden, so we've got Barnett and uh, Mendes as the fullback. so interesting to see, to see uh, how this plays out, but some of these young lads I mean, they look, I don't know how old they are, 16, 17, but they're... Some of these kids, some of these kids are barely going to fight back. Yeah, they barely look like that. They are, but technically they're stunning. Oh, no! Oh, Elliot Lee! It's offside! Oh, the thing is scored! It's offside! Oh, save. It's not okay. Save. It's not okay. So, Hayden's just been done on the inside. Real good skill, actually, from number 38. Just nipped inside him. And uh, you know, Lotus, we're just seeing it again. Shoulders Hayden, flicks it inside with the right, gets on the inside of him, and then saved. Yeah, good save. Oh, LA Galaxy, so good on the edge of the box. It's the 53, this 17 year old. Oh no, up. Oh. Too fucking easy. <laughs> it's so easy. Barnett, come on, Barney. Down the wing, let's go. Barney's the one. Come on, Barney, star boy. Stop oh! Keepers. Keepers. So we've had 41 minutes played, nil nil. Half time. Wrexham nil, LA Galaxy nil. Alright, so Humphrey is here just chatting to some fans. Um, nil nil half time. It's, yeah, I mean, very, very even game, I'd say. A lot of people talking, I'm going to get a lot of bad comments about this audio, but yeah, Humphrey's there chatting. Can we see him? He's in there somewhere. Uh, here's Rob. Here's Rob. We gotta go. Rob is, Rob is stressing out because we've missed something has happened. We, don't know. we have just missed something. Something's happened, we've missed it. We don't know. We hear people, we hear people cheering. We feel like it's gotta be a Rexham goal. What Re happened? Mullen has scored. Oh, crap. We missed it. Yeah, yeah. They're so crazy. We were just waiting and chatting to Rob and then the game restarted and Moen scored. So I have no idea. I'm sure everyone will, will have already seen the replay, but it's 1-0. We've still got Barnett, we've still got Mendy, we've still got Moen, Boyle. We've got a lot of the same guys that started the first half. So we haven't made many changes yet from what I can see. I'm just scouting now on the fly. It looks like we've still got the same team out um, with Mark Howard in goal. So Ben Foster's gone off. It's 1-0. Um, and we're winning. And Rob uh, was in the vlog chatting away about mowing. So yeah, I'm, I'm so lucky. I'm really, really fortunate that he just spotted me, recognised me, asked me why I was there, gave me a big hug. Honestly, what a guy. Love the guy. Mendy down the left, Mullen on the inside. Just, yeah, met Mullen applauding that. Great work down the left by Mendy. Watching it again, he puts it back. Mullen, little shove in the back, takes one touch, bends it, doesn't bend it in the far corner. We're looking a lot better in the second half. Galaxy's starting to fade now. Goal, Rexham 2 0. Um, high fives all round. Mendy. Mullen, Lee, big smiles, Wrexham in the stands, 2-0 to Wrexham, lovely move, we're going to watch it back now, Mendy on the left is a great joy, cuts it inside, and who is that there, oh, Elliot Lee, Elliot Lee on the, yeah, Elliot Lee on the slide, bottom corner, big smile from the magic little man, the white man. And also it turns out me and Rob thought it was Mullen for the first goal. It seems like Mullen's passed to Andy Cannon. It seems like Cannon and Lee have got the goal so far. Elliot, um, Elliot Lee. Uh, LA Galaxy good in the in the first half, but they're, they're starting to fade a bit now. And um, you know you can see you can see it in real time. Here we go. What's happened there? It looks like Elliot Lee has scored again. Own goal. Oh, well, here we go. Replay. The replay. The ball comes in. Cross from Elliot Lee. It kind of bounces oh, off the oh. defender. Oh, and Mullen's sliding in. 
I mean, this is great. 3-0, we're about to make a load of subs. We're about to see Bryce Hosanna, Luke Young, Billy Waters. <laughs> we're about to see a whole change. James Jones, hey, everyone. Going around getting his lap of honour. It's 4 0. It looks like Anthony Ford running in down the right. Played really well Ewan. on uh, played really well on Wednesday. You in there. You in the kit, man. Um, full applause. The lads have gone in now. Worn down. Um, get a lap of honour. But it's 4 0. Ford down the right. Here we go. Keeper makes a great save and Ford runs in on Mark. Nothing the keeper can do about that. 4 0 Wrexham. That's it. 4 0. Boys are up. There we go. That is it, 4-0, Parky, shaking the hand. Much better, you know, that is what we were after, um, after the 5-0. Boys look good, you know, a lot a lot to like there, Elliot Lee, Andy Cannon. Some of the lads swapping shirts now, McFadzian. Um, swapping shirts in pre-season, a great occasion. And you know what, credit to the Galaxy lads, I thought some of their young lads were top draw. Number 53, um, 17 year old, absolutely brilliant, but you know, here we go. Oli Palmer's there, he's in his 1864 gear now. Will Boyle, they've got change. And uh, yeah, Ted Lasso enjoyed it, so we're fine, he enjoyed it. Super Bowl night. But, oh, a fan. A fan's ran on the field. Yeah, right there. Oh, a fan ran on, he's been dragged off. Well, we enjoyed it, I've not ran on, but I enjoyed it. Um, Boyle there, uh, first start. Happy days, Rob Lane didn't get on, it was Mark Howard's night in the second half, Foster in the first half. A lot to like that. Um, who was my man of the match? I'm going to go man of the match for me, Elliot Lee. Thought he was absolutely top draw. Cannon as well, really grew into the game. So, a lot to like there. With 4 0, if you can hear me. Not a sellout, but great occasion for the lads. Great crowd, lots of clapping, everyone. And uh, yeah, proud to be here tonight. Great result. That is the end of the America trip. It's, uh, I don't know, all the people talking about San Diego, I really wish I could extend on and, uh, and vlog there and, and then end up back in Philadelphia. I was, back, I was in Philadelphia only in February when they won the NFC Championship game and when we played that first game against Sheffield, when, uh, Sheffield United, pardon me. Um, but yeah, this is the end of the tour and, uh, you know, amazing we got to meet Rob McElhenney and he recognised, gave us a big bear hug and uh, I was on, on camera but he gave us a big bear hug, had a great little chat and, and said you know he'd catch us soon and uh, so that was good fun but, um, and we won, we won and uh, you know four goals, happy days, the black kit looked amazing in person and uh, you know, it wasn't the best turnout in LA but it, it is what it is at this point, it was, it was a great exercise for the lads. And, and onwards and I'll be watching from home and um, plenty of FOMO but thanks for everyone who has watched uh, the videos and has said nice things about the YouTube channel and, and about the podcast and we'll be back to normal on the podcast I don't know if anyone has listened to this week's one but I was uh, not super super happy with it but uh, it, one of them things we'll be back to normal next week and you know we're nearly there nearly at the start of the season nearly time for the second season of the documentary Lots of exciting things to come, so stay tuned. Please like, subscribe, and uh, you know, keep up to date with all the news on the channel. And uh, yeah, for me, all I can say is over and out.